The metabolism of most drugs is thought of as occurring in one of two major processes, either zero-order kinetics or first-order kinetics. This distinction is based on the rate or amount at which the body is able to eliminate the drug. Zero-order kinetics is a state in which the body's ability to process the drug is already completely saturated. As a result, it can only process a fixed or constant amount of the drug per unit of time. The most well-known drug that undergoes zero-order kinetics is alcohol. So let's imagine that a person has been drinking at a party. After just a few drinks, the alcohol dehydrogenase enzymes in the liver are already working at maximum capacity. He continues drinking until his blood alcohol level is 0.08% or 80 milligrams per 100 milliliters. The liver can process alcohol at a rate between about 10 and 35 milligrams per 100 milliliters of blood per hour, depending on the person's tolerance. So let's say he isn't a chronic drinker and can process alcohol at the baseline of 10 milligrams per 100 milliliters per hour. The liver will eliminate 10 milligrams per 100 milliliters the first hour, then another 10 the second hour, another 10 the third, and so on at a constant amount until it is all eliminated. You can see that the rate of elimination produces a straight line on a graph. In more practical terms, most people can metabolize about one ounce of alcohol per hour. Most drugs we administer in anesthesia don't adhere to zero-order kinetics, however. They adhere to first-order kinetics. So what's the difference between the two? Let's say we administer a bolus dose of a drug intravenously. We draw a blood sample shortly after we administer it and find that the plasma concentration of the drug is 200 micrograms per milliliter. We then keep drawing blood samples and notice that after 10 minutes, the plasma concentration has dropped to 100 micrograms per milliliter. In another 10 minutes, it drops by half again to 50 mics per milliliter, and another 10 minutes later, it has dropped to 25 mics per milliliter, and to 12 mics per milliliter after another 10 minutes. We now know that the elimination half-life of this particular drug is 10 minutes. If you notice, it takes the same amount of time to reduce by half regardless of the current concentration. This is referred to as first-order kinetics or a first-order process. So zero-order kinetics is the elimination of a constant amount of a drug per unit of time, and first-order kinetics is the elimination of a constant percentage of a drug per unit of time.